Hello, and welcome to another game. This one is called Transylvania Girls. And right now I'm, like, busy looking at this guy in the ad. Like, find hidden objects. It's like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> who, who says, what kind of suave motherfucker with a class ring says that? It's like, that doesn't happen. Like, are you talking about the spinach in your teeth? Because I can see it right there. <laughs> and then he covers it up and leaves. Transylvania Girls, I'm sorry. We got off to a bad start. What the hell? What is the... No, no, what is this? What am I? What is this little pointer? It looks like a fly. Or a pair of kissy lips on the end of a jet fighter. We're just moving on. What the hell is this thing? This is a, this is a dating simulator. <laughs> Dear Journal, my name is Paul, and I have grown tired of life. The greatest of tales from the most accomplished of authors read with as much excitement as the newspaper's droning of triviality. The drink brings me little comfort, for the very next day I find myself back where I was before. The pleasures of the flesh that I once so eagerly sought are now but a dull and fleeting warmth in my bed. There is only one thing that will still bring a spark to my imagination. Dracula. The records are all very scarce, but I have little reason to doubt their authenticity. In such an otherworldly tale they tell, a being of such power is in this stark contrast to our miserable little world, where men have none. According to certain contexts, his remains were brought here to England. Once found, the resurrection ritual requires only a virgin's blood. My mission is clear. My only remaining purpose in the world, I shall bring back Dracula, so that this dull world might be mended. Wow, I am a depressing asshole. This game uses an oh, this game uses an auto save system. Every time you return to your room, the game will save automatically. Excellent. I can work. I can go to church. I can boost my piety. Fuck yeah. Respectability is important to women with class. Piety is important for ladies who love the Lord. All women love a charming man. When it hits 100, you can't do anything but sleep. When it hits 100, you'll die of boredom. You can use money to drink, buy gifts, and maybe even something else. Oh good. You can only visit at night. Only at night. Costs 50 dollars, euros, pounds, there we go, 50 pounds. Boosts the charm. Boosts the piety. Well, let, let's get our piety on. I'm going to get in the bed with some piety women. Pious women, sorry. Oh, shit, I missed that. I don't think I've seen you around here before. Welcome to our little church. It's a little small, but my father does the best he can. I don't think the Lord cares so much about such things. It looks lovely. Thank you, mister. Just call me Paul. I'm not one for such formality. Okay, Paul. Most people don't seem to see the best, the best past in the exterior these days, so I really appreciate new, any newcomers. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought it was Paul. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Emily, but just call me Emmy. Get comfortable with me and my massive fucking spread apart boobs. I look like a man, sort of, except that I have an upside-down V in my chest! Okay. Sorry. A pleasure meeting you, Emmy. I think the sermon is starting now. I hope we can talk again sometime. I like that. <laughs> is that me? Good God, I look terrifying. Oh, my boredom. The minister's daughter, eh? She certainly seems dedicated. I wonder what it's like to be so committed. Chance of finding a body part of Dracula. Go. The shit? Did I find anything? Oh wow, okay. Um. Go to work! It's an unusually pleasant day. Walking seems to have been the right decision. Oof! <gasps> Your breasts! Oh, sorry. Excuse me, sir. I guess I was daydreaming. I don't seem to be injured. Oh, how clumsy of me. This is so stupid and embarrassing. There's really no harm done. 
Well, if there's anything I can do for you, <laughs> the flirtatiousness. How about telling me your name? Polly. My name's Polly. Pleasure to meet you, Polly. I'm Paul. <gasps> we fit. I have to be going now, but hopefully we'll meet again. Oh, of course. Thanks for being so understanding about this. I really am very sorry. Polly, a crude name of the lower class. Yet that dress she was wearing, very new, very fashionable, very expensive. It looks like gray on gray. Perhaps there's more to her than meets the eye, even though her name is Polly. Like, how are the fuck do you complain? Your name is fucking Paul. Fuck you, Paul. In, out. Graveyard. Come to me, Dracula. Uh, uh, I, I need some ch Oh, my piety is way down. It happens every time I go to the graveyard. Fuck that shit. To the work. In, out. <gasps> I need to go to bed. Ow. Out of that for a little bit. My boredom has gone up. I'm going to die of it. To the work. For the monies. I don't know how much I need for stuff. Where the fuck is this Polly? Shop. Oh my god! Oh no! 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 Okay. My chair only goes back so far. But look at that thing. What is it? I'm going to kissy face it with my mouse cursor. The fuck is this thing? What are you buying? <laughs> this is the first thing I thought of. <laughs> oh my god. Why the fuck do you exist? Holy sweet Jesus of lore. I'm not the Freemason guy. Uh, Freemason kid. Please leave. Now. Holy shit, you're scary. I just remembered we have one of Dracula's remains in stock. You want it, kid? Yes. The fuck is that? Are those... Oh, his teeth. I thought that was like his fucking pancreas. I guess both of them. <laughs> both of his pancreas. <laughs> so wait, wait. Why do you have a piece of him in stock? What the fuck is that? Why do you have that? The shit. It's creepy as fuck, man. You shouldn't have that. Go to work. I'm going to be uh, respectable because piety is for people who like to be pious. Ah! I'm getting money. Good money with my money jizz. That's a what? Am I saying to myself? Requires a virgin and four body parts. Ah, I must go to the castle. I need a virgin. <laughs> I'll just run inside the shop. <laughs> Fucking virgin! I need one! Oh my god, your boobs! Sorry, I do that every time. Excuse me, ma'am. Has Mo taken ill? Who's Mo? I'm not a ma'am, buddy. How about you try again with Beth? Wow. That's amazing. My apologies, Beth. Have you recently purchased this establishment? And where are you? And where are your manners? Asking me all those questions before I even know who you are. My name's Paul. I manage things at your paper mill, at the paper mill. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance, but I'm curious. In what capacity are you serving here? Well, Paul, since you ask so politely, Moe's not as young as he used to be. So, I'll be giving him a day off every now and then. Care for a drink in the meantime? By all means. Why would I spend 50 fucking pounds? Wow. Beth, a proud name. I wonder how such a charming woman could find herself working at a dive like Moe's. Fuck that. I'm gonna go for this, this is fucking expensive one. Who's like classy and Polly? I don't like the name Polly. I'm sorry. But I'm going to go for her anyway because she's fucking there at my workplace. It's fine. Oh, shit. I wasn't paying attention. I have to go to bed. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die real bad. Okay, okay, okay. I need to. How do I unboard? I need to go to work, but I don't. How the fuck do I meet the women again? It's just fucking ridiculous. Ugh. I work at the paper mill. Paper milling. Milling around with my paper. I need to go meet fucking Polly. Is she not at my work anymore? The ball sack. Oh well, now I have 650 bucks to fritter away. I have one of Dracula's body parts. Three remain. Really? Teeth? And like what? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes? Oh, that's, that's more. Head, shoulders, and knees. I need the gifts that I own. None. Graveyard. The fuck? My doing. Oh no. Magic missile. You have found Dracula's ashes. What else is there? I was glad to have found them, but what else the fuck is there? There's ashes and teeth. Fair enough. Whatever. Wait, why did they move his ashes over here so they could bury them? Just leave them in fucking Transylvania, you cock! Fucking dumbasses. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I need to go back to work. Boost my respect. Because respectability is amazing. I love having respect for myself. I don't even give a fuck. I was sleeping. Why am I getting bored? What the fuck is wrong with me? Okay. <laughs> graveyard. Immediately. Graveyard. Okay. You have found Dracula. What? That's not a body part. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's not a fucking body part. It's not a body part. Just saying. Fuck piety. Piety. Piety? Piety. Piety is for the war people who are pious. I'm sorry. <laughs> My unreligiousness makes me very, very, um, offensive. <laughs> I'm sorry! Oh my god! Okay. Okay. I have to go to bed. Uh, oh, it's night time. To the graveyard! Fuck. Okay. Work. Eh. Curse this sweltering. No, wait. Curse this sweltering summer heat. A man could die of exhaustion walking around the day and like this, eh? Is that. What would she be doing on a day out like this? Coachman? Stop here for a moment! Reach for the sky, bitch. Oh my god, I can rob her mouth! Ah, oh, care for a ride, Polly? Oh, hello again, Paul. Are you sure it wouldn't be trouble? Not at all. Get in. Kiss me. You know, I've never done this before. Oh, God. What? Ridden in the carriage? No, silly. Ridden in one alone with a man before. Do you want to blow a job? I put new makeup on this morning. I'm sorry, I didn't even consider. Are you concerned with your reputation? My reputation? No, not really. I want to fuck your body. <laughs> oh. Besides, it's kind of exciting. Most women would be furious thinking I'd tarnish their respectability. Why isn't she phased by this at all? And why is she putting her hand on my leg? Yep. Polly? Hmm? Why is your hand on my leg? No reason. You shouldn't put your hand on a man's leg without an agenda to pursue. <laughs> I didn't mean to bother you. I just thought that's what people did in these closed carriages. <laughs> no! No! Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> It, it doesn't bother me. Then maybe I'd, I'll have an agenda to pursue next time. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. Ooh, is that Jack? Is that Jagasons? Can you let me out here? 
Coachman! The lady wishes to stop here! Thanks for the ride. <laughs> Can we meet somewhere later? Wow. Ooh, Paul. Now I think you might be pursuing an agenda. I'm not really looking for a relationship. Let's just see what happens, okay? But... I gotta go. Fucking... Was it just my imagination? Or did she seem to be in a really big hurry to get out of the street? Could it be something I said? No, no. I fucked up. I think I should give her a gift. My own penis in a box. To the graveyard! You have found Dracula's heart! Would not that be part of the... Fuck it. I'm gonna go look at the stuff that I have. You have found all of Dracula's body parts. <laughs> One of which doesn't even count as a body part, but that's fine. To work. That's all I'll do is work. I must work and meet Polly. For Polly is my boo! I just have to do this a lot. Oh shit, I'm sleepy. I must sleep. Restore the fatigue! Ah, uh, working time! Don't want to die of boredom, that would be bad. I think that just means I kill myself. Off myself horrendously with an axe. I'm just gonna work every day. This is fucking wonderful. I love this. This is nothing. This is nothing but good. What's the point of it? Oh, chance of finding a jump. I am going to work every day because I am a devoted workman. God damn it! I have so much money. I have twenty-one hundred pounds. Oh my god, I forgot about your face! Hang on, wait, I'm gonna look at his face upside down and see if I see anything else. Hang on. Oh god, hang on. I gotta get this out of the way. Fucking... Ow! Oh, fuck! That's fucking painful. I see... Not much. I just see his face upside down. This is terrifying now. His teeth are not eyes and his mustache is a creepy smile. This is fucking terrible and I'm uncomfortable! God damn it! Hang on! Hang on! Oh god! Fucking stop it! Holy shit! Holy shit! Advise. Lamp? A thousand dollars for a brick. Done! <laughs> oh wow. I now have a brick. For money. And I have a lamp too. Purchased lamp and advice. I, I was a bit of a playboy in my day. And let me tell you, the girlies don't like to be pigeonholed into a stereotype. Get them into something normal. Thank you. Can I kiss you? <laughs> On your mouth? <laughs> I'm gonna get nice things. Like this wine and these flowers. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Time to go to work. <coughs> Working time. Where are you, Polly? Polly Pocket. Polly, my Molly, Molly Wally. Where are you? I need you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, getting emotionally attached to these characters, I think. It's terrible. In, out, in, out, every day, it's all I do. You'd think that this would give a huge boost to his border meter, but I guess not. Polly Pocket? Where are you, my Polly Wally, Molly, Holly, Folly, Holly? It's fucking creepy. I just can't get to sleep tonight. I swear I can feel someone watching me. But who? I forgot to use the voice. Fuck it. I just slept, that's fine. Time to become a respectable young man. Young man. Young man. Respectable! Rest. Paul. Who's there? I know I heard someone calling out. Am I going insane? That was a terrible noise that I made. <laughs> oh no. You have to love this northern weather. 
Not one day running cats and dogs the next. Hot one day, not not one day. The streets are deserted. Seems I'm the only one dumb enough to go out in this mess. Wait, who's that? It's Polly! Oh. Beautiful weather, isn't it? Are you daft? <laughs> ah, she's being sarcastic, Polly, you son of a bitch. Take my coat! No thanks. You know your dress will be ruined. No, sorry, he doesn't have that over. You know your dress will be ruined. I'll just get another one. Who knows when it'll rain like this again. Look, I'm getting goose pimples. <laughs> I can see that. You have to love this weather. Every day it's something new and exhilarating. I can't wait for the first snow of winter. I guess there is something to be said for those first white flakes. What do you think it's like to be struck by lightning, Paul? What? I bet it's like one big goose pimple all over. And then you die. And what adventure could that could be? I'm, I suppose no one's ever come back to complain. Don't look at me like that. Why don't you take you off your coat and enjoy the storm with me? Don't want to catch the... Oh, fuck that! I want to have fun with Polly! Sure, why not? With company like this, it might even be fun. There's the spirit. I think you're getting goose pimples already. Goosebumps! Stop fucking saying goose pimples! You goddammit! Could you know? You're from a different country, I forgot. We just sat there in the rain for hours. Eventually, I started to laugh. And she did too. The weather subsided shortly after, and she wandered off. My shirt won't be dry for weeks. What the fuck is wrong with your shirt, man? What's it made with? Terribleness? It's fucking terrible. Need to rest. Paul. Paul. Who's there? Oh, <laughs> that's the wrong name. <laughs> that's the wrong voice for this. They used to call me Anne. Used to. Ah! It's a ghost. Can't. Can't you see, Paul? I'm a ghost. Why have you appeared to me, spirit? My soul can't find peace until I do something that meant a lot to me in life. So the unfinished business theory is correct, but that still doesn't explain to me... You bought my lamb, silly. It was my favorite thing in life. I guess that's why my spirit is tied to it in death. I see. So you're the presence I've been sensing. That's right, Paul. Twice before, I've tried to ask you out for this favor, only to chicken out. I'm kind of shy, you know. I thought I was the only... I thought I was the one who was supposed to be afraid of you. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a good point. I'll just come right out and ask. Get up. No! <laughs> <laughs> I need to recover. <laughs> <coughs> My throat hurts. <laughs> what? It's where I take your... No, no, I know what it is. I just... <laughs> That's your unfinished business, man. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? I, sup I suppose it does deserve some explanation. I was always curious about men, and everything I learned made me love them even more. But I never had the nerve to try anything. Not before I was married. I thought that we could just go crazy together, explore everything about one another, and leave no stone unturned. Unfortunately, my husband didn't see things the same way he the same way. 
He only wanted to get into my pants to put a baby there. Anything else was a sin. I begged and pleaded, but he never let me have a touch. Never let me have a taste. What about you, Paul? Are you willing to settle a dead woman's curiosity? Ah, uh, flabbergasted. Well, yeah, you think? Thank you. Too weird for me. It might be. Um, is that cheating on Polly? Fuck it. Ghost blood jab. How could I ever say no to such an attractive apparition? Oh, thank goodness. I've waited so long. I'll make it worth it for you. I promise. <laughs> Pinkiness. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it was wonderful. Everything I dreamed. Oh, God. What a spectacular experience. I must document this for the science journal's post haste. Or at least after I clean up the floor. She doesn't swallow. Or she doesn't, it passes right through her ribcage. So. So, let's go to work. <laughs> I'm going the fuck to work. Fuck this. Visitors? At this hour? Oh my god! Oh, you're not in operation, you're Polly. Polly, are you alright? Oh my. Look at how much my boredom went down. Apparently, that's there to make sure that, you know. The, the lamp is there to make sure you don't die. Oh wow. Quick, let me in. You have to hide me. Of, c <laughs> of course. Come inside. I guess you're wondering what this is all about. I haven't exactly been honest with you, Paul. You see, my parents made a big fortune in the spice market. They always gave me whatever I wanted. And now they think I owe them. They've arranged for me to be married. They think it'll help them seal some kind of business deal. <coughs> I don't want to get married, Paul. There's too many thi- Ah, oh, shit, I clicked. You're the only person I can trust right now. They've got goons looking all over for me, and I think that they're finally getting close. Is there anything, any way we could get out of town for a while? Anyway, maybe if I go away with you, they'll think they'd- My phone's trying to tell me something. Oh, it's charged, good. Oh, shit, I clicked! What do you say, Paul? Will you help me? It'll take me a day or so to get the necessary arrangements, but my family's on some land in the country for generations, like this castle that I know. Nobody'd find, be able to find us there. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You have no idea what this means to me. I'm going to sneak out the back way. I'll let you know where you can, where you can find me when you get things set up. And Paul? Be careful. How fortunate! The perfect opportunity for a little vacation to Transylvanian countryside. I'll begin making the preparations at once. <laughs> I have my virgin. Wait, I didn't even check if she was a virgin. Oh, shit. Fuck it. Fuck work. Fuck everything else. Uh, yes, Polly. Excuse me. Made man. <laughs> we left that night for Transylvania. Polly was a nervous wreck, and kept checking to be sure that we weren't followed. She hadn't brought anything except for her clothes on her back, and a flower for some reason. It was like she wanted to make a fresh start. I wanted to make one too, and everything I needed to do it was tied to the roof, locked up safe in my trunk. Oh wow. You're gonna die, girly. Have you ever seen the inside of a casket? You're about to. It was midnight when we reached the castle. Polly had drifted off to sleep miles ago. The air was crisp, and the night silent. Eerie, really. I hadn't seen this place since I was a boy, but under the full moon's light, the walls looked strong and new once more, as if it had been clean if it had cleaned itself up for our arrival. The horses led us through the front gate, unguided by whip or by rain. Polly, we're here! Wake up! Oh... I'm glad you're here. I was having the strangest dream. Oh? It's nothing to worry about. We're here, aren't we? Oh, where are we? Transylvania. My family have been the caretakers of this castle for generations. I can't put my finger on it, but something is wrong here. Like the fact that she isn't a virgin. 
alert. Where's my trunk? It must have fallen off somewhere along the road. Who needs stuff, anyway? But... <clears throat> I've got an idea that'll make you forget all about that stinky old thing. In what state? Hide and... Hide and seek! Cover your eyes and count to ten, and no cheating! Oh, no. I never could resist the game of hide and seek. Oh, no. Three, two, one! Ready or not, here I come! She is gone. Now, if I were a virgin, where would I hide? <coughs> the carriage! Oh. Done. Maybe the foyer! Fuck! Clever girl. Perhaps the basement! God damn, it's dark down here. She must be somewhere else. Ha ha! That was coming from the corridor. Ah, uh, you caught me. You shouldn't have been yelling, you bitch. That wasn't even a giggle. Only because you giggled. Why aren't you just a regular Auguste Dupin? Who? Shh, don't you want your prize? Blowjobs! Of course. Then you shut your eyes and count to ten. <laughs> <laughs> Snotty blo She didn't bring anything with her. What could it possibly be? Blowjob! <laughs> oh no. Three, two, one! Ready or not, here I go! <laughs> Oh my goodness! She is naked! Naked virgin! Oh. Come. Here I come. Yes. Yes. We will. Ah, God. I thought you just wanted to make your family think you'd given up your virginity. Oh no, I can't have this. I need to go get the fucking trunk. I can't fuck you now! Oh, Paul. I did. But doesn't it feel right now that we're here, together like this? Besides, wouldn't leave anything to chance. They wouldn't... <laughs> They'd get a doctor to check. This is the only way I'll have my free any freedom, Paul. I couldn't deny that. And somehow in that dark, dusty hallway, it did feel like it was right. Like it was the most natural thing in the world to do. I don't wanna... No! No, no, no! 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 I don't want this. I lowered my pants. She pawed at my coat. Instinct took over. Fuck! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Paul, you use the son of a cunt sucking whore! The hell? What is this? Por qué? What happened? Oh no, that was her virginity. <laughs> fuck! Paul, you useless! You are useless to me! I thought we had something special! Oh, Paul! Paul! That's so good! <laughs> Why are you so useless, Paul? I feel a strange chill in the air. A presence. But the chest wasn't in place. It couldn't possibly be. Your virginity's on the floor, ma'am. I live. Wow. Good for you. Do you mind? This is my first time and I'm trying to enjoy it. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell is that? <coughs> the fuck happened? Oh my. Oh my god, I can fly! This is the coolest thing ever! <laughs> Sorry, Paul. I'll see you later, okay? What the hell just happened? Loop the loop, woohoo! <laughs> that was a unique reaction. The fuck? That's Dracula? Boobies. Boobies. Is this a dream? Can this really be happening? Have my plans truly come to the unholy fruition? Yes. Yes, mortal. Your actions have made my resurrection a reality. You have been a loyal, f a most loyal servant, and you should be rewarded. Join me, Paul. Be by my side for all eternity. Fuck yeah. Now, come to me. We must consummate the ritual. Oh god! More sex! Pinkiness! Pinky fuck! God damn it! You've made a wise choice, Paul. Live. 
Life in the 19th century is about to get a lot more interesting. Oh. Fuck yeah! Blondes have more fun! Oh yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Am I drinking a root beer float? I have a root beer float. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, wait, what the hell? I think this is credits. Yep, you're surrounded. You're fucked. Pixel engineer. The jizz. The giz? The giz. The giz giz. Program? Stlehuck. 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 I can't tell what the fucking font. The piety. The piety. The piety. Haki Roku. Mmm. Oh, there's my coffin. There's my fucking casket. Special thanks. The. Sue. So. And. Jesus gets it through five seven! Oh my god, that was a mouthful. The end. With Vampire Bat Wings. Drex Night Out. Mm -hmm. That was lovely. Good. That's the end, I guess. I can't restart. Or nothing. Oh, there we go. Transylvania Girl. New Game Plus. Player selects virginities instead of randomizing. What is this? Slot one. Oh. Amy virgin, Polly not virgin, Beth not virgin. What the hell? I don't get it. What happened? Oh, there was a chance that the other ones weren't virgins. Oh my god, I get it. I get it. Okay. That would have been bad, right? Right. Alright. Thank you for watching Transylvania Girls. This has been an interesting experience full of lots of flex and blowjobs. Oh, I love you and not in that kind of way. Have a wonderful night, audience, and goodbye!